Hey guys, so it's Hairstylist Tether and this is eight weeks. I cannot believe I'm here again for a pregnancy vlog and I haven't told you guys yet and this is so crazy. And I haven't told a lot of people yet. We've told a few so far. We just went to our ultrasound. I'm going to show you some pictures. And so this is like coming for real. Like this is real life. It's really here. We're having a third child. What? That's crazy. And we saw the heartbeat. Kinsley went with us and it's so exciting. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put all these videos together yet. Probably by the time this vlog is up, everything will be figured out. And you guys will know. And it's so crazy. But I have a lot to think about because I do have some videos where we film talking to Kinsley about having another little brother or sister. And it's just so cute. And then we vlogged and filmed going to our doctor's appointment to see the ultrasound and get Kinsley's reaction and all that. And it was so cute. And then telling everybody at her birthday party. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to do like this collab video, like vlog thing, when I surprise you guys to tell you guys our video for like announcing our pregnancy, like trying to put that together somehow, along with our pictures. We're actually getting pictures done this weekend. We just wanted to get to our ultrasound and have these ultrasound pictures also. And just, sorry, the sun is like coming in right there. The lighting is probably not the best in here right now. Um, anyways, we have so many things in the works right now trying to figure out and excited about. Then also, we're trying to figure out how to tell our other family and friends. And we really want to get these pictures done. And then I'm going to like, just show everybody and show my clients the pictures so they'll know. Um, and we're really excited to get our pictures done. I have the girls' shirts made. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys that. If you can see that, it says Big Sister Kinsley, Big Sister Claire. I can't believe Claire's going to be a big sister. I still feel like she's my little baby. But with Kinsley, when Kinsley was getting about this age, two and a half to three, I was like really wanting another one. But where Daddy was in school to be a chiropractor, we knew we were going to wait a little bit longer in between having kids. We really wanted them to be like two to three years apart, but then they ended up being almost four years apart. So I really thought Kinsley was getting a little bit older by then. I was ready to have another baby. Now I still feel like Claire's my little baby and I'm having another baby and it's like, what? It's so crazy. And they're going to be just three years apart. So that's going to be a totally different experience and like with her being a little bit younger but she acts older because she has Kinsley her older sister and she loves loves babies she loves baby dolls any babies if we see a baby somewhere she's always so excited to see a baby and I think she's gonna be really I think she's gonna be really excited and she's gonna love it I really think she's gonna want to help like want to help change diapers and help a lot more than Kinsley did but then since she's younger it's gonna be a little bit harder for her to help but I'm hoping that Kinsley will be a really good helper because she'll be going on seven by then, which is so crazy. So, I just can't believe it. But So, here are the ultrasound pictures. We've got four ultrasound pictures, but we also have the video, so go check out the video. Um, sorry, Molly is here and I was petting her and now she's like, got up. This one is probably the best, even though on any of them you can't really tell what's going on. Like, you just can't really tell. You can tell the baby's there. Um, I was just excited to see the baby and that there's one baby and the heartbeat. And we didn't even think about that when we were in there afterwards. We were like, oh yeah, it's definitely not twins because I've been sick, so I didn't know. Because I know they say that you're sick. Twins are sicker with twins. But that's why I kind of thought that a little bit. But I'm glad it's just one. But that's the next thing. So I have been sick where I was really sick with Kinsley. Um, about this time. I was really sick in the morning time, but then after lunch time and so it got better. But I was so sick. Like I would throw up and I would be so sick. Well, Claire, I thought I was going to be like that, but I wasn't at all. But I was prepared, but I was like not sick at all, so I was all And that's why I thought she was a boy because the pregnancy was so different. Well, this time it's even different again because I'm like sick throughout the day. Like instead of just this morning, like this morning I did feel nauseous a little bit, but I went ahead and took my shake. But it's just hard to take my shakes. I take relief shakes every morning. And sometimes it's just hard to take them because it's like, oh, I'm trying to drink it down. And it's just like, oh, I just want to, I want to go through it, but I just feel nauseous like I'm going to. But I try to just take a peppermint or something like that helps me. Um, or I was going to show you, I got the pregnancy pops, whatever, from Target. Kind of like a peppermint, like a little hard candy. 
that always soothes my nausea. Sometimes I have to have those all throughout the day because even like, say whenever I go to eat lunch, afterwards I'll feel nauseous. Or even like when it gets lunchtime, I don't even feel like eating. Like I don't even like the thought of eating. Even right now, it's just like, I don't care to. I don't care to eat. So I'm just like nauseous throughout the day instead of just in the morning because even when I, it's like time to eat lunch or dinner and I'm like so hungry, but like, I don't even feel like eating. Like that's just how I feel. And it's just like so weird because usually I'm like so hungry, ready to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I usually eat on a regular basis and even eat snacks throughout the day. But this time I'm just like, I don't feel like eating. Just talking about it and thinking about it, I'm just like, ugh. Like I just rather not eat at all, really. But I know I have to eat. So um but I am trying to eat healthier since I had the gestational diabetes. And you'll probably hear me talk about that throughout this whole pregnancy. And I'll be very curious when I get to that. They might even test me early since I had it last time, you know. So I really, really hope I don't have it this time. But I'm just thinking that I probably will because I had it last time with Claire. I'm trying to already eat healthier and be healthier in the things that I eat and do, and exercise and all, like if I did have it. So I'm already doing that, so I feel like, if I do have it, then I'll be on the right track, and maybe that'll help so that I don't have it. I don't know. I have no idea exactly how that's going to go, so we will see. So I did take a few notes this time. I'm going to try to keep up with taking some notes. So when I went to the doctor, I weighed, this is like my starting point. I was like 112. I think at Christmas I was like 110. I'm getting like 2 pounds. But I feel like I always kind of fluctuate between 110 and 115 anyways. So I think this is about just right where I'm at. We'll see how that goes. I feel like I'm always good at gaining weight throughout the pregnancy. Like you're supposed to. Like a couple pounds. You know every time I go or whatever. Hopefully I'll stay on track and all. I'm still going to try to like work out throughout my pregnancy. Like I've been doing because I got in shape after Claire and all. And I really feel like I would like love where I'm at now. <laughs> so it's like going to be really hard to go through the whole pregnancy again. And getting big belly and all and then have to get back in shape again but I'm hoping that I can keep up with that like with my workouts and eating healthy that it won't be so hard to get back in shape to get back to where I was at this time if I try to keep up with those kind of things you know oh, yeah my only other symptom is just I've been tired so tired and we've been trying to go to bed earlier like 10 11 instead of like 12 or 1 like we usually do and stay up and watch Netflix shows so we've been like last night I went to bed at 11 and then had to get up with the girls at 7 this morning. So that means I got 8 hours of sleep. So I'm trying to do that. Because that's normally like a regular routine. But a lot of times we end up staying up later sometimes watching shows and stuff. So we're going to try to keep up that. Because I've been so tired. I would love to get like a nap today. But that's not going to happen because I'm about to get to the salon and get busy. And life is just so busy. Yeah, I have been really curious if you guys have caught on to that I was pregnant or anything in the vlogs since we've been filming so much like we filmed let's see there was another thing but I know one when we were at um the hair salon and I was cutting Joel's hair and I was washing their hair I felt like my stomach was sticking out a little bit in that video and then there was another one like that I can't remember and then my face has been breaking out so bad this time like it has been awful i've been like having so many bumps and breaks out on my face and i've been having a lot of mints in my mouth when i'm like vlogging sometimes so i've just wondered if y'all kind of caught on to those little things and i even asked kinsley in one video about being having a brother or sister or something but i was just kind of giving a little hints there to see if anybody caught on to it so it'd be really funny to see if you guys did catch on to any of that that's pretty much it this week i don't have much more to say other than just tired. I was so excited to get to the ultrasound. I don't think I got to a video last week. I was just telling Joel, I cannot believe it's thir this is Thursday and I'm eight weeks and two days because we went to the ultrasound yesterday and I was eight weeks and one day at the ultrasound. So I mean, it just went by so fast. I was going to make seven week video last week and tell you guys that I was so excited to get to the ultrasound this week and everything. But then it just flew by and then before I knew it was this week. So that might be how these pregnancy vlogs go. There might be one here or there. I'm going to try to get to one every week, especially if something important or exciting is going on. But yeah, it's just our life is so busy and crazy and 
I just cannot believe it got to the Fulcher ultrasound before I knew it. It was like so crazy. Now I go back in three weeks to see my doctor that delivered with Claire. So that'll be exciting to see her and everything because she already knows my history with Claire and how my pregnancy went and the delivery and all of that. So it'll be cool to get back in touch with her and like talk about Kinsley and Claire's and what we'll expect this time because I remember we kind of went over that the first appointment last time and just kind of get back in touch with her and talk and all that. Because I had to clear that epidural and it was just like so crazy and all. It was like so hectic and but it was awesome and I just hope and pray that this one will be that quick and easy and just go real quick like that again. But we'll see. We don't know what's in the future. Oh yeah, my due date is this is kind of an exciting vlog because I know exactly how far along I am now and my due date and all that stuff where before I was just kind of guessing. But now I do know that I am eight weeks and the due date is September 5th where Claire's was October 2nd. So they're like exactly, you know, exactly the same except a month behind. So that's crazy. And they're going to be like right at three years apart. So that'll be awesome. That's how me and my brother were. We were like right at three years apart. So I just keep thinking about that and like how cool that was. And we had birthday parties together and stuff like that. So, but anyways, and I love that. I like the, because it could be like end of August or first of September. That time of year, I just love that time of year. Especially like I remember back when I had Claire and we'd like go to the parks and let Kinsley play. And this year, we would go to the parks and let Kinsley and Claire play and I can just sit out in the sun with the little one. That's like, I thought that's like the perfect time to have a baby around that time. So the weather is so nice and it'll just be great. So I'm so excited about that. I love uh, September. I think it'll be good. So, because I have no idea. I was like so early with Kinsley and I was right on time at her due date with Claire. So this one could be kind of like in between and just be like a couple weeks early. That's what I'm kind of thinking, but I have no idea could be way early or way late. I don't know. I really don't know. So it's all in God's hands. I was just going to let him take care of it. He has it all planned out for us. And we we're supposed to have another little one. So that's awesome. I'm so excited. I just want to know what it is already. But I know all that will be coming soon. And I'll do all the tests. I'm going to do all the gender prediction like videos and stuff when it gets a little bit closer to time for us to go to that ultrasound. And we're trying to decide. Joel's having a really hard time. He wants to know like right away. So I'm thinking this time me and Joel might find out at the ultrasound when we're there. But still have a little simple gender reveal party like we did with Claire. Because that was so much fun to like tell everybody if it's boy or girl. I don't think I can wait either. I want to know like as soon as we can find out. But then again it would be awesome to wait. Let them put it in a card and find out with everybody else. I don't know. I'm so like go back and forth. And I'll probably be wearing my LuLaRoe leggings all through this pregnancy. Probably. So, this is what I'm looking like. Sorry, my leggings all over me. Um, but that is my belly. I don't think it's really changed much. It probably won't start changing until I would say like 11-ish weeks. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Probably about 3 or 4 more weeks before I really start. My belly starts to grow some. I maybe gotten a little bit bigger. 30 and a half to 31. 30 and a half, I think, is where I'm at. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty much where I'm at now, guys. I can't believe it. I'm still so shocked. It's like, what? Okay, guys, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's here in eight weeks and i'll let you guys know another update in a week or so and see how things are going yeah so check out our daily vlogs subscribe comment like comment below we will see you guys soon have a great day bye